All right, well, joining us now, uh, very excited for this. Of course, the Las Cruces Comic Con is coming up this weekend. And by the way, it's Charles and Sarah here with you. Uh, but we're looking uh, looking forward to all the fun things going on at the Las Cruces Comic Con Friday through uh, se- uh, Sunday. And uh, part of that will be uh, two names that are two voices that you are very, very familiar with, uh, Kerrigan Mahan and uh, Barbara Goodson. And uh, how are you all both doing today? Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> I'll be quiet. Too early for this. Wow. <laughs> well, if you guys can't tell, they're probably both best known for their work with uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Barbara, of course, vo- vo- voiced Rita Repulsa. Uh, Kerrigan voicing uh, Goldar. Uh, and I, I got to tell you, bo- for both of you guys, and I mean, I'll, I'll start with you, Kerrigan. I mean, it's one of those things that I, I, you know, I grew up watching the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's one of those. It's just part of my childhood. And I got to think, you know, these days, especially when you guys go to these these Comic Cons, that's that's a usual thing that you you get is, you know, guys that are in their 25, 30, 35 range, and girls for that matter, that uh, that remember you from from that series, right? Oh uh, yeah, no question. Um, Barbara and I both have the, basically the same fan base, respectful of the Power Rangers, and you know, it's it's I I, <clears throat> I think, and I think Barbara will agree with me. I, I think it's more surreal for us, quite frankly, than it is for the fans. I mean, I, I've been on the other side, not of a, of a, of a table, but a con, but, you know, I, I mean, meeting, you know, big stars, with whatever the circumstance might be. And, and I know how bizarre it is to be a fan, but uh, the other way, the other side of it, us looking at these people and real, not having had no idea that we were going we to make a mark like this 23 years later, it's just crazy. Barbara, I'm asking the same thing. And when you, the reaction you get when you go to these comic cons and you see these people that that still love the show so much, and of course we know there's going to be a, a reboot movie coming up here before too long. But uh, you know, what, what's your reaction when you when you get to meet these people? Well, it's incredibly rewarding. At first, I couldn't believe that uh, we were even asked to come because um, you know, for us, it was a job that we did many years ago, and then we moved on. And uh, we, we knew the franchise was still going, but we didn't really have any clue on how much of an impact our uh, doing the voices and being part of the beginning would have on people. And, and we get reminded over and over again that this, this was really effective to their, you know, this was really one of their special moments in their, in their own youth. And so for us to know that we contributed that is, is just so rewarding. It's wonderful. Absolutely, um, you know, Kerrigan. I'll ask you this as well. I mean, in terms of you know going to these comic cons and, and getting to meet these people, I mean, what what, what do you have the most fun with? Because I mean, obviously, you're involved. You know, the Power Rangers people know you from that, but you're involved in so many other things uh, in terms of voice acting. Um, you know, what what what's the most rewarding part for you in terms of go, getting to go to the, these cons and meet these people? I think I have to. You know, I wish I could make. I wish I had a better answer. Or a different answer, not better, certainly. Barbara's answer was beautiful, and that's all I have to say is it is so incredibly, um, it's, it's, it's so, it, what's another word besides rewarding? I mean, it's like, you just feel so good that you really <laughs> did contribute. You're, you brought something to all of these people, all these kids that are now grown up, and they look at you with their eyes wide and shaking your hand and, I don't know, you know, I, I tuned in yesterday to, I decided to just stop everything, take a break from what, all the things I was working on, and I tuned in to uh, Ellen uh, watching her premiere show and seeing how much she gives uh, and realizing that we are a part of that. We, we gave, even though, like Barbara said, it was a job, and we didn't really realize to the degree that we were contributing to these kids after school or whatever. I mean, it, we were really bigger than we had any idea. And uh, it's not ego at this point. It really isn't. The Comic-Cons are just a blast. And, uh, they are fun. The, the people there are so creative in all aspects of life. I mean, the, the costumes are phenomenal. And uh, it's just an amazing uh, experience on its own i mean we we get to be part of it which is so exciting that that we get to be included and and the other part is that uh, i think most actors go into it because they they want to contribute something they want to do something of of uh that they love to do and also make an impact on other people 
and that we were given that chance and told that we did. It's like we can check that off our bucket list, you know. We did that. We got to do that. And it's still going. That's what's just incredible. It's not only still going, it's getting bigger. I mean, I'm more popular today than I was in the day. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, not crazy. with me, actually. <laughs> 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 but I mean, with this movie coming out, I mean, its uh, release date, I believe, is uh, January 16th of, of 2017. And they're shooting starting this January, and they're supposed to be, I have to believe they're going to announce the cast yeah. any minute. And uh, I, I'm, you know, as far as the Power Rangers go, um, I don't think they're probably going with any any semblance of names. But I, I have heard some pretty intense rumors as to who's playing Rita and who's playing me. Yeah, I, so, I like to say who's playing Barbara and who's playing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it crossed my mind. I was talking to my agent, and I said, uh, you know, this is a bit of a quagmire for for leading. Uh, A-list actors, you know, where their agents are saying, well, the fans are screaming for the original voices, Kerrigan and Barbara, and the star is going, well, I want to bring my own thing to this. And it's kind of like, well, no, that's not really the idea. You've got to pretty much try to sound like Robert. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm sure a lot of them have just said, Rilla, I'm not doing this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, there definitely wants to be a connection to to the original series, and I, I, that would actually lead to my next question: is you know, I think they re they released that it was kind of a spoof video, a very dark version of the Power Rangers about a year or so ago. H how do you want to see the series be treated in a in a reboot movie? Because we've seen you know a ton of other franchises that have been rebooted over the last few years for both of you. And I'll, you know, Barb, I'll ask you first, and, and Kerrigan, you can chime in. I mean, where where would you like to to see how you see the series treated uh, in the new movie? Well, I would like it to have the flavor of the original because there was always some whimsy. There was always some humor attached to it. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not opposed to dark movies, you know, per se. And there's a place for it. But if you're going to do a reboot, you're going to want to touch into the original and, and what there was a lot of uh, humor and um, darkness. Yes, there was there was a combination of both, but Rita always had a a little bit of a funny side. A, a, a I love Lucy kind of I can't win, <laughs> you know, frustration. So I would like some of that to be brought to her character rather than just an evil, evil, you know, wicked witch. I mean, that's done. That's been done. Make her humorous as well. Yeah, Kerrigan, how about you? Well, um, it you know. I, 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 I write a lot these days, and the bottom line for me is, it, 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 but please, God, please let it be a good, good script. Now, there's rumors <laughs> that Middle Street is playing Barbara. If she, if that is the case, obviously we have a monstrous, huge movie on our hands, and I can't recall a bad movie uh, that she's made, so I have to believe the script is good. And as far as dark and evil versus good and all of the rest, um, I just want to believe they've, they've, they've got a good script on their hands and being at Lionsgate's uh, in on this um, and regardless of who plays us if they are going to be stars I think that, that's that been fairly well established uh, you know it, it's a franchise it, this is one of probably three Mighty Morphins and then they'll move on to other generations but the way this, the <coughs> our four years uh, was the way it was designed in the series it would make very good sense um, that it would be a three, uh, probably three Mighty Morphin movies, uh, and the chances are possibly evil is the uh, what is it, Barbara? The the title of that five parter, Evil is the New Green, I think. That yeah, could be yeah. A movie in and of it. That might be the second part by itself. So really, the you're hearing out. you're hearing stuff I've never even heard. I thought it was one movie and that was it. Oh no no no! It's a franchise. That's, that's oh my my. Be, yeah, it's it's going to be a franchise now. Again, franchises can die. Meaning, if the first movie out of the gate is a mess, <clears throat> you know that can certainly hurt what is uh, being being uh, designed as a franchise. But I have a very good feeling about about the movie, and um, I, I would love to. I mean, Barbara and I have discussed this and actually, you know, signed signed on. 
or, or reported in to to the to the Saban camp. Uh, gosh, it would be fun for us to have a small little cameo scene. Uh, uh, yeah, that know. would be so. You know, just like <sighs> where's Waldo? Oh, there's those voices. <laughs> we heard them. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I think for everybody who's had you know had that connection to it, and what I find interesting as well, I've got a friend who's a son, who, you know, who's you know he's four or five years old, you know, the newer generation, the younger kids that you know love watching you know the, the old Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and and things like that. The, the fact that you know twenty years later there there's a newer generation that is uh, into the show does that that surprise you at all? Does that make complete sense to you guys? Please we never up. we Please. never knew that we would keep going and going like the ever ready batteries, you know, like like there's little little kids that that know who we are it's just phenomenal or more phenomenal i should say more phenomenal more <laughs> phenomenal well the fact that we have netflix the fact that they're running it from the beginning um, again the fact that you know why all the attention on us well i guess i guess it's obvious like i suppose we are the originals and we did run four seasons versus every other generation ran you know only one season so uh you know it that's that's the coolest part of all that we actually yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. There's longevity the, there. Yeah, I mean, we're the what do you call the something type? We are it. Yeah. Being a voice actor, I mean, the, the best part yeah. of you know getting to do all these different. I mean, you, re, you read through your your bio and all these different shows that you've been involved in. Is is that one of the yeah. best things about being a voice actor? Is that you know you you get to play all these different kinds of roles? It is a gas, absolutely. I mean, an on camera actor never. I mean, I I would consider myself. A utility man, meaning, you know, I, I was uh, I would be considered in, on screen if it was the same and VO. I would be a character actor, meaning I played a lot of different characters from, you know, the young, uh, arrogant uh, Robotech Private Sean Phillips to the grizzly, you know, nasty pirate to. I just got to play a lot of really cool stuff. I mean, I mean, uh, Magnet Defender was one of the best. Truly, one of the best voiceover roles I ever got to play because it had depth and and it was multi-layered and um, it was a tortured uh, anti-hero. Um, so somebody sometimes has asked me, "Well, did did are some roles harder than others?" And there's no question. I mean, there's no question. Sometimes you jump behind the mic and just go boom, 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 and then, then there are other times you take a moment to go, "Oh man, that's a that's a deep line." Let me do that again. <laughs> so yeah, it's great fun because you don't have to shave. <laughs> you don't have to go into makeup. You don't have to memorize any of it. Um, you get to be actually bigger in the microphone than you do on camera. Uh, you know, Barbara, I'll ask you the same thing. We look down at all the different things that you, you've done. Um, you know, getting to play all these different types of roles. I mean, we talked a lot about Rita, but I mean, you're involved with you know Star Wars, the Clone Wars, and uh, right. Fraggle Rock, and all these. I mean, to, to be involved in all these different types of things, uh, how has that been for you as a career? Well, that's. I wouldn't have been able to write what I uh, wanted any better than what basically happened for me, because I do feel that I've got so many characters in me. I, they have to come out. They want to come out. It's not like after I do Rita, I want to I'm, like I'm doing a little baby sheep, a very shy sheep named Willie, <laughs> and and then I have a, a very romantic uh, fox on on Cloudbread named Ruiz. Unbelievable! And and it's like you get a, you get an opportunity to be um, a schizophrenic or a <laughs> or somebody who has multiple personalities and. Uh, and get um, paid for it. You know, it's 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 a certain type of personality that we all have, and sort of like Robin Williams to an extent. But I would never, you know, he was a genius. Um, uh, but there's that need to to take all those people inside of you and express them. So if I do Rita and only Rita, then where is my mother Talzin? I it's time for me to be a Russian witch. Uh, Romanian, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know. I, I need that ki- kind of like a full seven course meal to make myself happy as a as a creative being. And boy, did I pick the right place to be. And and that, you know, I've been rewarded by being able to express all those little people inside of me and animals. <laughs> That's awesome. And be myself in 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 real life because I'm a rather straight, normal person. That, 
sort of, in real life. Right, <laughs> Kerrigan? <laughs> Easy now. Easy. Let's not get Kerrigan. <laughs> yes, you, you both get the outlet to, to express yourself. In, in, That's uh, right, without having a, um, a, ja- a straight jacket. There you go. Absolutely. Well, I, I, one, one more question. I'll go back to in talking about cons, but I, I would ask you both, what, what's the most interesting experience, fan experience, whether it's been weird or fun or whatever, uh, that, that you remember from, from going to all these cons? Because as you mentioned, you get you know, you know certainly get a certain type of people and an interesting type of people that go out to these comic cons for sure. Kerrigan, all, is there one that stands out for you that you remember from going to all these? Uh, yeah, it does stand out, but I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, radio appropriate. <laughs> okay, oh, never mind. Yeah, I stayed loyal to my wife, but um, my, my, <laughs> my, 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 it took everything in me not to follow up on that. Uh, so, yeah, oh, it, boy. Uh, getting to be a star, basically, literally getting to be a star for three days is amazing. The reality yeah of having to be a star 24-7. I look at that altogether differently. We get to fly under the radar, literally. We get to go to these things, and we are stars. And, you know, it's... it's, And then you're not. Yeah, and then we're not. And then we're (laughs) at the airport, and it's over. (laughs) But I... But I I, I think we've signed a few odd things. I uh, I don't know. I've I've been signed... I had to sign... Pez, you know, Pez dispensers recently. That was pretty strange. I mean, okay. <laughs> here's what. Here's what's scary, and I know Barbara agrees with me on this. One hundred percent. When they bring these posters <clears throat> or these helmets, these six hundred dollar helmets, where everybody and their brothers already signed them, and you know, you sure as hell don't want to screw up or bleed onto it or smear it. So oh, you know, I try to take a breath before I, you know, uh, you know, you take that moment of going. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. Or, or writing Very the wrong cool. character. I've written um, Mother Talzin on some on some Power Rangers stuff. And it was, I mean, th- those are the horrendous things that happen sometimes. Not often, well, but not, it has oh, happened. Uh, I didn't even know that till this moment, Barbara. Really? Not on a helmet, no. <laughs> but but I, I, they said no. That's okay too, because that that shows that you're you know you're a screw up, and that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to make you guys more human, right? Anything. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I like such a positive attitude. Like you, you ruined my <laughs> my poster, but thank you. It's okay. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. It, it is. I I used the paint pen one Comic Con. You know the paint, the ones that you shake and like a like spray paint. Mm-hmm. You know, oh yeah, paint yeah. Pen. And I was doing, and I love the way they work for the most part until one just bled out on my own picture, and I went, "Holy crap!" I just threw it away right there. It's like I'll never touch a paint pen again. I mean, at least yeah, sure yeah. You, could... you can count on. You know, they're not going to bleed out on you. I mean, I mean, can you imagine a paint pen bleeding out on one of those freaking no. helmets with all those? Oh no! There's no saving that. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I would have, I would have closed up shop and literally. Where can we buy a new helmet for you? I will personally go to each booth and we'll start all over. And my con is over. <laughs> One of those things where one, you just one of the disappear. favorite things I like to do is is um, people like to have our voices for uh, answering machines or you know uh, call outs to friends, and we we'll do that at the cons, and then everybody at the con will clap. So it's like doing a live performance again. <laughs> that's, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then people appreciate it. That's what's wonderful. Sometimes Barbara and I will have impromptu exchanges, kind of cussing each other out. <laughs> That is, that's a gas, too, to hear the whole room go up. In a room oh, yeah, up. we'll be doing that at, at uh, Las Cruces. Just give us some... We get bored enough, we'll start yelling at each other. <laughs> yes, you're hearing Rita and Goldar yell at each other and, and maybe swear at each other, I think that would actually be very, very fun to hear between yeah, the two guys. Well, there will be children there, so we will be uh, careful when we do it, but we've done we've done quite a few things. <laughs> Good deal. Well, I don't know what actually I I don't know what I haven't done behind a microphone. That's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Well, guys, uh, we really appreciate it. And again, Las Cruces Comic Con is uh, coming up, and uh, you'll be able to go by and, and meet and greet with Barbara Goodson and uh, Kerrigan Mayhan. It should be a whole lot of fun. But you know, before we let you go, we, we would love to have both Rita and Goldar invite everybody out to the Las Cruces Comic Con this weekend. So if you guys would would be willing to do that, we'd certainly uh, love to, to hear from both Rita and Goldar about heading out to the Comic Con this weekend. I await your orders, Empress. Are we going to Las Cruces? Come on, folks! Come visit me or else I'll get you! <laughs> I know you're coming! You heard that correct. Las Cruces. <laughs>